And, but also, you just thought that, you know, Change UK, a new party, yes. you know, want to make a splash, yes. you know, a, a political start-up. Um, <laughs> so so what, what does this say about the state of that? Ever since those initial two weeks, it has been, I have to say, real catastrophe after catastrophe. Lots of confusion about their name, whether they were called the Independent Group, Change UK, changing the website, all of these sort of quite basic bits of political strategy. Now, obviously, of course, they're a new party, their nascent mistakes are going to be made. But for a new party, which is trying to remake British politics, to realign British politics, not to be standing in what could be an absolutely prize by-election for them, one of the most, most tantalising by-elections that we've had, really is quite extraordinary. You think back to the closest analogy, the analogous force, the SDP back in the 80s, they made their name by repeatedly fighting by-elections and winning extraordinary by-election results in Warrington, in Glasgow Hill, Hairs and all of those. But, you know, and yet here you have an oh, potentially open goal and Change UK, who are now only polling at three points in the latest polls, uh, by the way, have decided clearly to pass it up.